So arthritis is our nation's leading cause of disability. It affects people of all ages. In fact, one in three Floridians live with a certain form of arthritis. Researchers are working to find a cure, and there's a way for you to help them out. The Walk to Cure Arthritis is Saturday, April 19th. Dr. Scott Kramerick uh, couldn't be with us today, but he is the Walk Chairman. Bonnie Lynch is the Adult Honorary Chair. Tricia LaSalle, did I say it right? Leslie, of course, is the Young Adult Honorary Chair, and Jedediah Waldo is a photographer and videographer. Let's start with you, Jedediah. You put together a video. Uh, the video is called, This is Why We Walk. This Correct. Is something, was this a new thing for you to be around people I've, that are suffering from arthritis? I, it's the first time I've ever done anything with anyone that has suffered from arthritis and that whole genre. And of, how did that affect you? Because now you're just thrown when, into this new thing and it, you knew nothing about it. When I got involved, uh, it, it really hit home. I started filming these beautiful women and <laughs> hearing their stories and it, it just it, it touched me so deeply because I didn't realize that it affects little, little children, babies, right. you know, I, and it just blew my mind as I'm listening and filming their story. I mean, I went into tears at one point. It was, it was, it, well, that's, for me it was very uplifting. Right. To find out, you know, something I never And this knew wasn't just sad, you weren't just sad. No. Or you felt, it, felt it bad was, for them, it was something that. But it, but it also was, you know, I felt very powerful that I'm bringing the awareness mm. through motion video right. to, 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 to share it to the world. Well, there you go. We got a piece of that, because I think your video is about seven minutes long. Yeah, the original cut was 7.38, okay. and then uh, I think we recut it to about a minute and a, minute half. and a half. So let's take a look at that. We really want to give back, and we want to give our time and help, help these events, help the walks, help the Jingle Bell Run, and really help to bring awareness to the fact that kids do get arthritis. Um, it isn't just your grandparents' disease. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to, um, what the future holds. And that's, I think, a really scary <laughs> thing sometimes. Don't be afraid to ask someone about their diagnosis and, you know, say, how does that affect you? How, how can, you know, I help? How can I improve, you know, the world that you live in, make things better? And one of that is participating in this walk, getting the research that we need for, for cures and for better medications and just, we just need help. Just, you know, there are over a hundred different kinds of arthritis, but when we get together, it is a true celebration of, of what we are about, what we have accomplished, what we can accomplish, and again, we need the, we need the money for the Arthritis Foundation. I can't wait to walk because I'm ready to cure my Grammy. As a rheumatologist, I see the Arthritis Foundation as a, a great partner, not only in research, but also in helping support patient, patient education, and just being out in the community, making people more aware of this problem. We need a cure. Oh, that is so cool. Good job on, on putting that together. This really does, I mean, you would think, normally you just think as we get older, you know, the bones start to wear out or whatever, and that's what arthritis is, but it's so much more than that. And it doesn't only affect older, it affects younger. You were just diagnosed, Tricia, just... At 23. At 23 years old. Yeah. What, were you having certain symptoms or something going on with you that made you think, I think I better get checked out? Yeah, I wasn't a normal 23-year-old. I was kind of just lethargic, really tired all the time, um, some joint pain in the mornings. And basically, you feel like you kind of have the flu all the time. It's just like you feel down, like it's something you can't shake. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it was just... I wasn't a normal 23-year-old. I decided to go to a physician, and six months later, they came up with a misdiagnosis, and then finally, a diagnosis. And that's been, you know, great because now I get to I get to deal with the problem. I get to handle it. Right, because you know what it is. And what right. what was it that you were diagnosed with? Rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. and this is an autoimmune. Correct. Deal, right? So, it, and how did it how did it affect you originally? I mean, what were you feeling? achy joints and all of that aside from the, the lethargic and, and those types of things? Right. Um, it definitely is It's stiffness. It's um, I can't, you know, open my water bottles on occasion. Mm. Um, jam jars are hard. You know, I live on the third floor of my apartment and going upstairs mm. is trying. My knees hurt. 
Um, there's a lot of morning stiffness, stiffness that's associated with arthritis. So it's just kind of getting up in the morning and you know, kind of waking just up. Waking and, you up know, and your body waking yeah. up along with it. How is the Arthritis Foundation, just real quickly, how have they been able to help you at this stage? They've been great because they've been making an invisible disease visible. And it's the awareness, it's getting out there and, and getting the funding that we need for you know, medications and cures so I you know, can continue to walk and be active and, and enjoy the lifestyle that I have right now. And Bonnie, you were diagnosed 26 years 26 ago. 26 years ago. We things, moved to Florida. Things were a little bit different then, weren't right. they? I moved to Florida. I was so happy to get out of winter. And I didn't feel good. I was much the same feelings that, that Trisha had. And plus, I had some joints that I had hurt when I was a dancer. Mm. So I thought, well, that's natural. Maybe it's because of that, right? right. So I started going to doctors. Within a few weeks, we knew that it was rheumatoid arthritis. I didn't even know what it was. I, too, thought, oh, it's just old people that get that. <laughs> I did not know the difference. It's an immune system disease. Mm. I wish they would actually have a different name for it and, not, and call it rheumatic disease. But they don't. I now have So let's raise nine, awareness. <laughs> yes, yes. Definitely. So what have you had done? I've had nine artificial joint surgeries. Wow. Some of them are revisions, which is sometimes more intricate than, than, the, than original. the original. Sure. Right. Even my elbows are artificial. And it's changed, though, because thanks to the Arthritis Foundation mm -hmm. and people going on doing these walks, like the event that's coming up, and donating, they're able to catch it a lot earlier, mm -hmm. and there's medicines and things that can help so you don't have to get the, right. the, the, the replacements, really. Right. Well, because of all of the research and the funding from the Arthritis Foundation, we, the researchers have come up with a lot of new drugs, many. I no longer will have any other joints go. Mm. I occasionally have to change medications, but there's always a new one. There's three in the works right now, in addition that they're working on. They're wonderful. Uh, scary symptoms. Everything has scary If you read sure. everything you take, it has scary symptoms. Right, don't right. Google it. But, right, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't <laughs> no. Google it. You always but, end up dead if you do that. But we the key do is that. they work. Now, for me, I just right. lost those nine, like, whoa, immediately. I was just in pain all the time. And I'm so happy for Tricia that she will not have that because of the Arthritis Foundation. That's I'm a little great. jealous of her, too. <laughs> but but I, I, I truly am happy That's that, great. that we don't need that. And I'm out there telling people here. I, I speak to organizations. <laughs> I speak to groups. Absolutely. I want to get the word out and we want people to come to the walk. Well, thank you all so much for sharing this with us. Yeah. And actually on Tuesday of next week, Dr. Kramaric is going to be here so he can break it down a little more from, from the physician standpoint and what you can do about it. We'd like to thank our Arthritis Foundation for sponsoring this segment. To learn more about the walk or to make a donation online, the website is on your screen, 2014awjacksonville.kintera, K-I-N-T-E-R-A.org. We'll be right back.